This is BBC News. I'm Samantha Simmons with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. Back home, Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou returns to a hero's welcome in China after spending more than two and a half years under house arrest in Canada. As soon as her freedom was assured, China released the two Canadians it's held since days after her arrest. They've arrived back in Calgary. So ahead, campaigning comes to an end in Germany as the country decides who it wants to leave them in the post-Angela Merkel era. More queues at petrol stations across the UK as the government prepares a temporary visa scheme to make it easier for foreign lorry drivers to work there. And the La Palma volcano covers the island's airport in ash, closing it to all planes. Hello and welcome. We begin with events in China and Canada, where what appears to be an exchange of detainees has taken place. The Trans-Pacific flights involved the Huawei executive Mum Wang Zhou and two Canadian nationals, Michael Spavel and Michael Kovrig. Ms Meng was fighting an extradition order from Canada, which could have seen her stand trial on financial charges. The two Michaels were held in China on spying charges, shortly after Ms Meng was detained in Canada. But all three are now in their home countries, as our North America correspondent Nomia Iqbal reports. <laughs> 